Hey everybody, this is part two of the Thrive Themes and Cart Flows integration and walkthrough and how you can build an entire online business course uh, website with just these two tools. And in part one, we did a lot of the heavy lifting. We built the website, we installed Cart Flows and all the plugins, and we built our course and created a sales funnel for it. That's a big, ambitious course. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll put the link in the description below. But in part two, this is actually inspired by a comment from a recent YouTube comment where they said, how do I add basically a call to action for my products at the bottom bottom of my blog post and that's a fantastic question and lucky for us using thrive themes we have the tool that we need to do that very easily and very automatically in thrive leads so in this video what you're going to learn is how to create a thrive leads bottom of the post kind of like little opt-in form box that pops up that can do a bunch of different things it can send them to your sales funnel it can send them to an email opt-in form that gives them a coupon to go to the sales funnel it can also directly add products to the cart and send them to checkout even if you're not using cart flows so in this video we're going to cover i think those three examples so be sure to stick around to the end because there's a lot of value coming right now so let's go ahead and dive into our website here and we'll go down to thrive leads if you haven't installed it yet but you have a thrive membership you can go to product manager and you can click on thrive leads and install it but we already have that so we're good to go what we're going to do is we're going to create first a bottom of the post footer and we're going to go ahead and do that by adding a lead group here by clicking add new and we'll call this uh, bottom of post uh, get the course as an example now here we want to add a type of opt-in form that's going to appear and we want these to be post footers so this is going to essentially uh, only get your most engaged viewers they're going to be the ones who've made it all the way to the bottom of your blog post and this can be a predefined call to action you have after they finish reading the post it's a really really effective type um, it also works great on mobile as well as desktop so here we're going to go ahead and add a new form and let's create a form and we'll call this by the course and we'll do a few different types of these because there's a lot you can do here. We'll start with the basic first. All right, so we'll edit the design. And again, Thrive gives you a bunch of great little options here. What I'm going to want to take, I'm just going to browse it here real quick. I'm just going to go with a blank one for now. You can obviously make the template look as nice as you want to. But for this first one, I want to make the simplest one first. We're going to actually even get rid of the lead gen. We're not going to try to get them into a lead gen. All we're going to do is say, have you seen my latest course? Check it out below. Uh, we're not going for the best sales copy here. I just want to show that you can, you can use Thrive Leads for more than just capturing leads. You can do it to capture customers. So we'll put a button here and we'll say, learn more about the course. Probably want to add some sort of an image here of the product if I have anything. I think I have something I can use. What looks very coursey. Okay. Let's just go with this person here. Let's center line this layout in the middle. Now this is kind of a long one. So maybe I'd want to do like a side by side and not quite sure. Maybe you'll want to put like a list. You want to give them something to make them want to actually look into it. So we'll say, learn this and then you'd imagine you'd fill this out a little bit with some copy not a big fan of this background style so we'll go to the background style and make it a little bit lighter and give it a darker border so let's give it a let's say a four pixel border and make it like a dark gray that looks a little bit better okay so now we want to do is where you want to send them on this button and what we're going to do is a couple different options here so the first is if you were following along in the first video we have a flow here we have this thrive apprentice course tutorial and so what you can do is you can send them directly to the landing page and to refresh your memory this is our landing page it's a full-blown sales page so this might make sense let's go ahead and use this as the first example and just directly copy that link go back into our post footer design here and click on the button go to our main options and choose the button link to go directly to the sales page and you can do new tab i'm going to leave it on the existing tab here okay so this is kind of the version one very simple uh, but it can be effective to kind of make sure you're getting people to the right page so what i want to do is simply click the save and exit button here 
And now we have our post footer. So we'll leave that. We'll go back in to the interface for Thrive Leads. And we need to set a couple of settings here. So we'll go back to our Thrive Leads dashboard. And here you can see a little red warning here. So we need to set up some displays. So we'll just say for simplicity, we're going to show this on all posts. Save and close. And now we're ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and take a look at a post that I built for this example. So now as they read through the post, they're loving it. Let me check one last setting here. We need it. Don't forget. I always forget this. I'm sorry. I always forget this. Make sure you say display on desktop. And if you want to display on mobile as well, do that. Okay. And we'll just quickly clear our cache because sometimes that can get in the way of things loading correctly. Okay. So now let's refresh this page. And as we scroll down, they're loving this article. It's fantastic. And now they see, have you seen my latest course? Check it out below. They can click here directly and go directly into the sales page that you built in the previous video for this course. Okay, so that's example one where you can send them to an existing uh, uh, sales funnel. What's also cool about cart flows though, let's go back in and edit this one more time. You don't need to send them to the sales page itself. You can actually send them directly to the checkout page. So, and that's very easy to do. It's not easy in all platforms. So what I'm gonna do while this is loading up is I'll go into the flow and I wanna grab the link for the checkout page. And I'll come back in here and just simply change URL from the landing page to the checkout page and save and exit. Because with the cart flows, this is designed for one product in mind. It's not a, gen a generic checkout page. So you can actually send them directly there. And then we'll go into this post one more time. Should have all updated. And if we click this here, it's now going to send us directly to the checkout page we built in the previous video where they can buy immediately, which is really, really useful. But let's say for a second that you don't have cart flows. First of all, you're crazy. Get cart flows, incomemesh.com slash cart flows. But if you don't, I still got you covered. We're going to go ahead and adjust this form one more time using the default WooCommerce checkout cart, all that experience, and still with a click of a button, send them to the WooCommerce checkout page with the correct product added into the cart. Okay. So this is a little bit more complicated and it needs a little bit of special one little special thing here and this is a, an example of the url that you're going to want to create so basically you're going to be able to use your website and send send your people to any specific page on your website with adding a specific product to the cart okay so that's kind of complicated probably poorly explained let me walk through it and show it as we go so we'll come back here and let's go first into our products Let's come back here and go to WooCommerce and products. And let's get the course we want to use here. So let's say we're, we're going to keep with the Thrive Apprentice course. You see this ID 523. So I'm going to go ahead and come to my URL here and I want to add 523 to this guy. Okay. So that's the item I want to add to the cart. When I click the button, I want to use the existing, you know, the correct domain. So let me do convert dash.com slash thrive slash your custom page. So the custom page in this example is just my checkout page. No big deal. So we'll come here and find the checkout page and I can see the slug there is simply checkout. I just want to make sure it was standard. So we'll add checkout and add to cart 253. Okay. So we've created this URL now and I also want to add the HTTPS. So I'm going to take this URL and I'll add the, you know, some way I'll add that description, uh, that URL to the description so you can get an idea how to build it. And now let's add this into our post footer. Okay. So here we are in our post footer. So I'll go to this button and simply copy and paste this new URL in here and I'll save and exit it. And now when we click this button, it should take us to the default post. Let me just refresh to make sure it loaded the new version. Okay, so now I'm going to click this guy and it's going to say thank you for shopping with Income Mesh. Um, I actually have kind of a, a, I'm testing something as well. I should never do this before I record, but this is the default checkout page. I've just kind of messed it up a little bit here. Um, one sec. Okay, this is our default checkout page with the item added to the cart. We can scroll down here and see 
um, we have the Thrive Apprentice course added in the cart and we're ready to place the checkout. My formatting is a little off there. There's something going on in the backside. That's okay. Um, so that's example number three. Now, this is kind of like bonus right now. This is going to be a, uh, a bonus lecture here, a bonus activity. So what if you want to do a two-step where on step one, you want to make sure you collect their email address. You know, you say, hey, give me your information to make sure that you actually follow through the purchase process. But what you do is you say, all right, give me your email address and you'll get 50% off. And when you click the button, I'll take you directly to the checkout page with 50% off applied. That's extremely beneficial is extremely kind of convincing and and unlike the earlier example where we sent them to a checkout page at full price without trying to you know use a sales page to con increase conversions this should help a lot in increasing our conversions by adding in that additional coupon so let's see if we can figure that one out together there's gonna be a couple steps to this guy and it's going to start off with changing our checkout process with cart flows let me gr find our flow here here we are so we have this flow and it's great because it already has the proper products added in. But what we want to do is actually have a different, um, we, we want to have a different pricing structure. We want to add that 50% discount to the, uh, the flow there. So let's go back to our flows. And you have the option with cart flows to simply clone this guy. So we're going to take the one we've already built and just click this button to clone it. And what we're going to do on this clone is simply change the pricing structure on the checkout page. Okay, so now we see we have Thrive Apprentice Course Tutorial Flow Clone. Okay, very good. So let's go into our checkout page here and edit it. And I'll show you how easy this is to do. So now we look through and we have the correct product applied. Now we have the ability to select a coupon to um, apply to this automatically. So when they click into this page, it's already going to have the coupon code applied appropriately. So let's go ahead and make a quick coupon code. Um, for 50% off, we'll say add coupon, and we'll just call it 50 off. I'd recommend you don't call your coupon code 50 off because you'll probably get a lot of 50% coupons. Um, and then we'll do percentage discount 50. And for this example, we'll say it's, no, let's, let's make it to the correct product. We only want to apply this to the apprentice course. So I'll come here to the usage restrictions, products, and only apply this coupon to that course. And we'll publish it. And now we head back to the uh, the step we were at and we'll search for a coupon and I believe we don't need to re to reload the page I'll just type 50 off and here we go uh, percentage discount and Update I'd probably recommend you change the URL slug. The slug here is pretty interesting. So we'll just call this TAC dash two thrive apprentice course dash two. Okay and update one last time and now I want to take this URL and just copy the link address and I'll put it on a little notepad here off to the side just so I don't lose it. What we want to do for the last little bit is update our post footer here. And we want to turn this from a simple button into being a two-step opt-in form. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So we'll go back in to edit it. So here we are on our form. And what we want to do here is actually, uh, let's do two things. First of all, let's come down here to the plus button and this is where we're going to add a secondary state to this opt-in form so right now we're on the default state we want to add a new state and we'll just call this simply new state and what this does is basically make a duplicate so we have the default which is here and we have now the state one which is here and what we can do with this now is basically make it step one and step two so let's go to our default state and change this from being a button to being an opt-in form, a lead generation form. So let's remove the button. We'll go to our lead generation widget or item. And now let's quickly connect it to a service. So this is a real test. Let's go to our MailChimp account and let's just uh, apprentice. We'll add them to course status group and we'll say they are interested in the course. And we set all this up in the previous video as well. Single opt-in is fine. And we'll give them the tag of got 50 off coupon. We'll hit continue. And name is fine. Let's remove uh, the name field. Email is fine. And now for post opt-in action, we could directly send them to the checkout page. That would make 
a lot of sense as well. But here what we want to do is actually switch state and we'll send them to the state we just created. And I'll show you why we're doing that in just a second. Okay, so now we have, uh, we need to change this text here, don't we? So have you seen my latest course? Get it for 50% off for a limited time. And let's just make this bold. And let's change this to a red color. Okay, so now we have a bit more of a call to action here. We have a lead generation form. Now, when they submit this, it's going to take them to the state one that we just created. It's not going to redirect them to a different web page. They're still going to be here on the blog post. So now we can change this header. Great. So this is the kind of the thank you mate message thing. Great. Um, you can use 50 off coupon code 50 off at checkout if you um, ever get lost. If they fall off the page, then they can use this. You can also send that coupon code in an email if you choose to. But right now what we're going to do is directly link them to that URL. So I'm going to paste in the um, checkout page from this, the cloned cart flows flow. Gosh, that's confusing. And <laughs> that's going to take them directly to the checkout process. So that should be good to go. Let's go ahead and save this. Let me go back to my uh, flow here and just double check that everything is published and good to go. Coupons are good. The checkout page is here and looks like it's good. Okay, and what's kind of cool about this is you notice I still have a landing page on this second flow. I don't need to delete that. I can just directly send them to step two of the process. I don't need to send them all, all the way from step one. Okay, so let's go back to our blog post here. And we'll view the post. Okay, so as we scroll down, we see a different opt-in form at the bottom. Have you seen my latest course? Get it for 50% off for a limited time. I'll go ahead and sign up here, john at incomemesh.com. And when I hit sign up, instead of redirecting me to a different page, it's just going to go to a different state of the same exact form, which I think is a really cool feature. So it says, great, you can use coupon code 50 off at checkout if you ever get lost. So I'll copy it, but as we'll find out, we don't even need to. So we'll click here, and this takes us directly to the checkout page with the coupon code successfully applied already. Now they're getting the $97 course for $48.50. And what's actually kind of interesting about this, I like this, this is new. Um, it used to actually show the coupon code. Oh, there it is. Okay, the coupon code is 50 off that's applied there. It also allows you to, I guess, apply additional coupons as well. So let's go ahead and make a little test order here. I already saved my test credit card to this account. And now we have the thank you for the purchase and the ability to access the course right there with our order details at the bottom. All right, so that was part two of this ongoing series of Thrive themes and cart flows. So we've covered building the actual product and building out the initial sales funnel. Now we're starting to get into different traffic strategies of getting people from your blog posts into the course. And we covered a few different ways, sending them directly to the sales funnel, sending them to the checkout page, sending them to a discounted checkout page. And for those of you who haven't gotten cart flows yet, shame, 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 sending them to the default WooCommerce checkout page with the product added to the cart. I'm John from Incomesh.com. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and head over to my website and subscribe because I'm going to put more content about these two amazing tools on my blog for free. And I'll see you guys in the next video.